Hey, students of Build Up, this is your time. In times of panic, right, people forget their integrity and their humanity and their manners because they are scared. And anyone, anyone who has had to face any sort of resilience, who's had to um, kind of come through any kind of chaos or navigate adversity, whether it's personal, whether it's family situations, whether it's, you know, the death of a family member, whether it's living in really challenging and difficult circumstances, anyone who's had to do that right now, this is your time. And I'll tell you why, because people who haven't had that opportunity to, to come through adversity are going to struggle to change. That's not you. That's not your story. The truth about you is that against the odds, right? When, when you've, you've found it incredibly hard, when it feels like other people have given up on you and you have sometimes given up on yourself, against the odds, you signed up for Build Up and you stayed with it. You stuck at it, you tried, you gave that opportunity. There are people that would not have done that because it required so much kind of reframing and pivoting and, and having so much confidence and faith in the system and what you were doing. You are already freaking amazing. I know that now means that GCSEs are no longer on the cards. I get that. And I know that the future is uncertain because we don't know what they're going to do to find out what grades you are. We don't know what the grades are going to mean. We don't know when you can start the next thing, what the next thing is. There's <clears throat> a lot of uncertainty. And during times when there is uncertainty, the most important thing to do is focus on what you can control, not on what you can't. Now, a lot of the content that you were learning for the subjects you were taking, a lot of the knowledge seems kind of a bit mute. You know, I, I don't know how often you're gonna use quadratic equations in everyday life, but I do know that everything to do with maths has been the complete base of my life. Photography, cooking, everything I do is based in those subjects at school. And at the moment, there is a ton of free resource out there. This is not a time for you to give up on yourself, guys. You're worth more than that. This, this is the exact time for you to say, well, at times like this, people like me, we come through. That, that's what happens right now. If you, if you look around at the teachers and the leaders and they are having to be incredibly agile right now, this is your agility training. This is when you get a chance to shine. So you can spend the entire time doing nothing but sitting on social media, which you know, I've talked about this and it's fantastic because wherever you are, you bring joy and you add fun and the party starts, but that is about you giving all the time. And if there's one thing that humans have to learn, it's knowing when there's time to give to yourself, to be a bit selfish and look after you, not just your physical and mental health, but also the investment of time. Because where your energy goes, that's where your focus. And if your focus is staying in bed till two in the afternoon, getting up and being on Snapchat for the next five hours, great for everyone else, not so great for you. So what do you want? What can you do now? What have you got? You've got time. You have got a lot of time. And there is a ton of content. There's Khan Academy. There's loads of stuff that schools have, the programs you're already using online. There's also a ton of content on YouTube. Rather than looking at what Kim Kardashian's wearing, why don't you look at what, what is it that you're interested in? Because there's no barriers at the moment. There's no barriers. If you want to be a pilot, then go take an aviation course online. There's loads of free content that you can, you can access. And you can create free contact as well because you've got a phone, haven't you? So you can create. What can you do? What do people need right now? That's how, how business people think. What do people need? How can I serve? How can I support people right now? Yeah, I, you know, in a way that this is happening is a nightmare. But in another way, it gives you freedom. Now, a life without structure feels like freedom, but actually it's complete chaos. Um, especially if you're, if you're creative type, if you think of ideas and stuff like that. So give yourself some structure, you know, spend the morning doing stuff that requires focus from your brain and spend the afternoon doing stuff that requires out of the box thinking and creativity. Use the tools you have, not just time, but use the teachers. They're not going anywhere. They are there for you. They are there in support of you. They are cheering you on. Find the teacher, find that one or two or three or all of them that you know is completely for you and connect with them. This is your, this is part of a responsibility on your part to not give up on yourself, to not say I'm not worth it, but to focus on engaging with the people who you know are for you. That's your responsibility. Reach out, ask for help. There's nothing cool, right, about, oh, I'll do it myself. You've seen them, you've seen people like that. Oh, I could do it myself. You're an idiot. No one does anything themselves. The strongest people know how to reach out and ask for help when they need it. The strongest people. 
Like I spent, as a kid, I spent all my time growing up in foster, hair, foster care and, and being angry and trying to kind of write my own story based around anger and fear. And what I realised when I was able to finally connect with people and adults who were for me is that I'm worth more than that. I, I'm more powerful than that. I was just going for the lowest thing of giving up and saying I was crap all the time because that was the easiest thing to do. Not the truth about me. And certainly not the truth about you. Reframe. Reframe is so important. When you've got a situation that is rubbish, what you've got to do is be able to see the good in it. So see the, the time you've got and what you can do with now. This is, I don't know any other time you're going to get like, you know, a couple of months to kind of focus on what you want to learn about. But this is that time. So I, d don't give up. Do not be concerned by the fact that, you know, that school isn't on. Because school isn't a building. School is an attitude. So what's your story? What do you want your story to be? Because don't be mistaken, this is historic. And in 10, 20, 50 years time, when you will still be alive, <laughs> you're going to be telling the story of now. Don't let that story be, I gave up because there was no point, because there was no school, so I just gave up. Don't let, that's not your story. That is going to, that's someone else's story. That's not yours. Your story is going to be you taking responsibility for what you have now and making it work. I am so behind you on this. You, you have got so much to give. Don't be selfish. Don't, don't give up and then, you know, the world misses out on the unique gift that only you can give. You stand, you take responsibility for what you can do, what you can control, you own it, and then you move forward. Use the resources you have, use the people that you have, use the time that you have, stay connected with family and friends, give yourself time to be creative, eat well, get some sleep, <laughs> All the, and don't forget, wash your hands, but don't give up. This is not the end of you.